Alright, we'll wait for one more to get in here. Let me see. Can you uh, play with your cars and stuff in, when you're in the screen? Yeah. Uh, go to either press B once or press start or something. Do Just do something. You have to go to the speed pass and challenges, aka it's the right bumper or left bumper on the controller. Okay, yeah, so whatever yeah. It, oh, that silver translate to your wheel. Silver Kid's here, okay. we're gonna go play. Okay. And then you press B, and you are in your garage. Yeah, you press B. I got there just in time for us to load in. <laughs> Science. I just need, yeah, I just need to um, adjust something on my, wind, my wrap on my windshield. <laughs> Priorities, gotta look the part, you know. I didn't even change my rims, so yeah, I feel that. Hmm. Well, <laughs> we'll take some time um, to customize our whips. What's up, JCS, my boy? How you doing? Oh, dude. If I rode like that every day, I literally would have a six pack. My abs hurt so much. There's no reason for it. It's unreasonable, actually. I mean, and it's like allergy season, and you have allergies, so it'd be great for you then having to sneeze on stream. Mm, and do the best I can. Big country, what's up, buddy? We out here. Johnny's in the house. What's up, buddy? Tater nuts, my boy. How are you doing? <laughs> Dirty way for me. All right, did the plate. This Seems fancy. Nathaniel abusing the SpongeBob emotes. He got those last week, and the boy hasn't stopped. He hasn't even said hi. He just comes in here with SpongeBob, just <laughs> looking duck face. Oh, hold on. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming, puppy! <laughs> uh, Big Country, that's what I'm gonna play with a little bit right now. I th I put the four-cylinder in, and Profligate's running the inline six, so we'll see what's good. Marcus, you wanna beat me tonight? You gonna beat him off? We'll see, yeah, we'll see how you do, buddy. Whips. Uh, is there a drift build for the Miata? Yeah, you can do either. It, basically, it's the same build. Just slide the slider to the right. I am in no cap. Like, that's. It's uh, same, same, but different. The Miata isn't super drifty, though. It. Slide doesn't love it, so you could be fighting on that. Thanks for a heads up on that one there, Subble. You sound bitch. Oh, Euro? What's up, dude? The cocaine drip? No, 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 The allergy drip. The Wichita allergy drip, bro. You did another thing this morning? What did you do? Oh, shit. There's an invisible car in there. It's a brothel. Yeah, I see it. I restarting the doing a reset on the wheel. Huh. Alright, we're gonna rerun that. That was a good stop. <laughs> Are you guys in there already? And we're fifteen no. on server. Oh we were fifteen on server. We got five seconds. I didn't get it, I was out of the there it is. Let's do it. He started another one. My man. Dude, $300 in supplements? Let's fucking go. You're going to be like, or or not, but you'll feel like you're that. You know, like Mr. Popeye like, out here. Like elevated supplements? Like No, nerd, he, he's, he's, he's getting fit. He's hitting the gym. He's doing the things, oh. man. He's going to be flexing. I thought he was to become an astronaut. Flexing and maxing. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be good. No, you, we don't even, we're adults. We don't code stuff like, I bought supplements for elevation purposes. It's like, what kind of drugs did you purchase? <laughs> like, just tell me, dude. Like, we... <laughs> The one time I try to be nice to your fucking stream. You could take that and go fuck yourself, sir. 
<laughs> uh, Trash can rage with somebody. Says deeds. What's up, Jordy George with the rate of eight? What's up, dudes? Jordy's on that shit. I guess I should probably find somebody to raid at the end of the night at midnight when I'm getting on. Fuck your pre shift. For real, dude. Doesn't matter if I don't fucking maintain. Oh, car. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Holy- okay, I missed- I missed it. Second, uh, am I prepared for the eclipse? Kinda, actually. I've been looking into that. Um, I'm not that far from the path of totality, and so I think that I might grab my kids and take a day of it on Monday and go make it work. But I don't want to tell them about it or get excited about it on the off chance that there's some cloud cover and it's not looking like it's gonna really- pan out the way I want it to, but I think it would be really cool. I, I've never no! been in the path of totality for an eclipse, and I know my kids haven't either, and that's kind of one of those things, right? Like, once in a lifetime type of deal. Like where I live, right where I live is the best place to view for the eclipse. No. Look at Look at fucking Western New York, fuck not. There, okay, so the path of totality, there's a good spot, like, but I think it's closer to the equator's the longest part. So, I mean, you might be like, is it gonna? Do you, are you in totality? Like, you're, it's gonna be fully dark yeah. where you're at. You're right in the middle. Yeah. Okay. They put they declared a state of emergency because of how many people are coming to the area. Like, <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. yeah, they like closed down like all sorts of places because of it. Not the hospital and shit, but you know. I'm just gonna have to drive this car a bunch, see how it does. Yeah. It was definitely a relatively okay run. The country, if, if you want, I'm, I'm sure you did some research before you bought your stuff. I don't know anything about any of that. I was like, TRT sounds good, because you can gain muscle and do nothing. And I was like, that's kind of my style. <laughs> Buy a cycle of steroids, you're gonna be fine. That's what, that's what TRT is! Oh, gotcha. It's testosterone replacement therapy is what it's called. It's basically wow. steroids, but they're really, they're pretty dialed. And I watched a video on it, and the guy's like, yeah, so the guys that took steroids and worked out moderately did this. And this is the gains they got. And the guys that, that got it and worked out, like, just a little bit got this. But the real stats are the guys that took it and did literally nothing, and this is the muscle mass they put on. I was like, huh, I like that. That's a good stat. I can work with that. <laughs> I like nothing. I like doing nothing and getting fit. But, I mean, that's kind of part of the deal, right? Like, myself, I don't have a ton of fat on my body. So any muscle I put on is kind of apparent. Whereas, like, if, you're, if you've got fat to lose, testosterone uh, booster does not make it go away. It just makes the muscles bigger, so. But it, it's kind of... What I don't love about the situation after the little bit of research I did, and I'm not sitting here trying to promote it, you guys, but it's like, if you're gonna do it legit, you have to inject, because if you don't, and you just take it in, like, a capsule form or something, that's so fucking hard on your liver. Like, oh man, it's already kinda hard on your system, and you don't wanna do too much, cause your heart will literally get so ripped that, uh, <laughs> it can no longer pump blood, cause there's not enough room for it to cycle through, but I was like, man, I don't want to be injecting myself with needles. That that just hits a lot different than I want to be a part of. Like, I didn't want to get my ears pierced. <laughs> like, <laughs> but that's, uh, I guess, the healthier way to do it. I'm like, man, I don't think I'm there. But I probably look pretty good, especially with the pull-ups and the push-ups that I do. 
on a daily basis. Making this little frame go. But what if I started roid raging? What would that be like? What if I was actually angry about something? That'd be, that'd be a little different. The torque is in, the torque is a thing, dude. On this one, I'm not sure if it's a better thing. Though. I don't think it is. Like, I'm running the single turbo. I don't hate it. This car's kind of twitchy though. Yeah. Very. Yeah, dude. Me out of gang! Hell yeah, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, Kingpin, stay natty, you only get one body. I know, and so. Natty's cool. What if I just stop, like, I'll stop smoking and then do steroids? Like, we'll trade one bad habit for a new bad habit. Yeah. Sounds like good math. Harrison, what's up, buddy? You do it. No, 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 no heroin. No heroin. No, no, no illicit drugs. <laughs> Bad. It. The blob's a little tight in the car. Uh, so, country, I didn't. In the little bit that I did the research on, I didn't see that I had to take an estrogen blocker. Um, it all, I guess it all depends on, like, how much you take, but, like, this, the, the small amount that I would be vaguely interested in, um, it, it didn't seem like, it was, it's kind of like, I'd have the same kind of testosterone levels of what I did when I was in my 20s, but now, and because of that, it would pack on a considerable amount of muscle to go with it. I'm like, I right, that sounds dope as fuck. I might give the century a go, bud. Oh no, dude, no. <laughs> the century gets you the same. Yep, but it's the century. You have a point. Like isolated Remember. cases is the century good, and most of them are not the Miat. This car is so easy to lose. It's just like, hey man, I noticed that you wanted to slide out here. How you feel about it? I'm like, I guess we slide out. Man. I think the torque's important, man, because this thing doesn't like to hit its top speed. Like, I'm really crawling to get up to 200 mile an hour on Fisher. If you go with gold tires, will that do anything? What's up, Artismo? Oh, if you're coming from Gran Turismo, yeah, this is a whole different ballgame completely. A very different skill set, too. Uh, what do I think about keyboard players? I mean, it's not my style, but I know plenty of guys that are very fast on keyboard. So, I, I'll tell you, I don't let that be an excuse for someone. The only thing you can't do is you can't redline tech on a keyboard. But you can micro drift and do all the other moves that we do on keyboard. So, it's good. Get me out and be like, that tree looks cool. SWAT, what's up, buddy? The Miata's pretty, it's a loosey goosey. It's a loosey goosey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 
Get your electric car out of my way, you cunt. What does this look like with a single turbo? Is it zoomier? Not better. The start wasn't that bad with the Sentry. Okay. If you say so. What's up, Hex? Where's the green guy? What the hell's he been doing? Uh, he's been working, dude. He's got a job, man. He's a busy guy. Uh, what's happening today? Uh, SWAT, I took the new motorcycle for a ride for the break-in period. The probably least fun I've had on a motorcycle in a really long time. It's tedious and not fun. My abs hurt. But... Other than that, it's all good. No, so, uh, trash can rich. The break in. Um, when you're breaking in a bike, you need to. You don't really hold a steady RPM. You're always varying the RPMs, and you need to run it up through the RPM range, and then let it do engine braking and slow it back down, and then run it back up, and then slow it back down. And so that's all I did for 65 miles before I got back to my house. So I got on the highway and it was just like between second, third, and fourth gear, just you know, hitting the throttle, but not wide open because you don't go wide open throttle when you're breaking them in. So between 50 and 70%, just one, accelerate to around eight or nine, 10,000 in some cases, but between eight, nine, and 10,000 RPMs, and then getting out of the throttle and coasting back down, and then right back in it and going up the rev range and then right back down. And fuck, man, that's boring. It's it's not great. And because I, my riding style, like I use my knees to grip the tank. Oh, fuck you, propagate, you ruined my life. Um, and then you use your core to kind of, wow, that guy's, okay, let's, we start again, we start again. Um, you like grip the tank with your knees you're up like this, and then you use your core to hold your body right so you're not putting the weight into your arms. Shit, man. It was like, you know, over an hour of just, in, in. people on the highway were like, this guy's drunk. <laughs> and then I rode 40 miles up one way, got off the highway, and then I took another straight road back. And the speed limit on that road is 55 and there is no traffic. So I did it all in first gear, like 30 mile an hour up to about 70 and then back down to 30 and then up to 70 and then back down to 30. And it was just like this, just, it was crazy. Uh, seating the piston the rings, better. seating the piston rings. Anish, An Anisha, Anisha, uh, yeah, it's a full lobby. But we can try to spam a little bit. We haven't done that yet. Um, breaking in an engine is breaking in an engine. Um, there's a lot of different methodologies on how to do that, and I talked to an engine builder that does race cars. I talked to a motorcycle drag racer that builds engines. I talked to a guy that races motorcycles competitively and breaks in race engines. And then I talked to another guy that does dyno tuning uh, and makes custom exhaust for bikes and they break in new bikes. And all of them pretty much were on the same page. They all put it on a dyno and then run it up and down the RPMs for an hour and it's done by the time it's off the dyno. But the goal is to never sit at a certain RPM, never give it the full wide open throttle in the early stages like that first hundred miles is kind of critical and then uh once you've done that you're good to go because if you go too aggressive on the throttle early on you can end up s scoring the side of your um sleeves that the pistons are trying to mate to and so instead of them like the pistons rings scuffing nice and smoothly and where they get a really really good seal 
um, you can have them actually score the side of it, and then you'll have blow by for the rest of your life. It, it, the, until you get new sleeves in the engine, it won't be right. And so there's some people that are like, yeah, no, just go and give it the beans and be, you know, run it crazy and drive it hard. And it's like, you want to put load on stuff, but you don't want to lug. You don't want to be making the engine work a lot harder than it needs to. And you don't want to be uh, putting max horsepower through the, the system because all the bearings are new. Uh, the journal bearings, the, the rod bearings, the crank bearings, like you name it, everything is new. And so there's a... Uh, methodology to that and what I did was I what I think would be considered the very best way that I could do it <laughs> instructions are clear spark plug blew out the exhaust I don't know dude what's up optic Bro, that is a copium time if I've ever seen one. There, supples, supply boys. Yes, sir. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'm pretty proud of us. Jay, we're doing copium, dude. It's not F1 copium. Philippe, you have a very unique question. Um. One question, what's your opinion about the BMW M3? Is the best car in the Need for Speed Saga? No. Not at all. The M3 GTR is a cool ass car because it's a race car that is like made into a street car for the game. So that was like a really cool like pedestal type vehicle. And the reason that we all look back on the M3 GTR with this fond memory is because it's the only time in a Need for Speed game, or in any game, that you have had something, and it was fucking awesome, and it was cool, and it was probably the first time most people had seen it, and then it gets taken from you, and the asshole that takes it from you uses it, and he scammed you to get it, and so the whole plot line of that game, what we sink hours and hours and hours into, and have all these fond memories of playing, is the quest for the Holy Grail. You're chasing that BMW M3 the whole time. And so because that's the goalpost, it's a fixation that anybody who played that game has got that. And so that car is built into something that no other game does. If, if you can almost insert any other vehicle into that position, and you'll have a similar feeling for it just based on the psychology behind it. The M3 GTR is a unicorn car in that regard, so it's cool that they did it, but nah, man, I played a lot of the older Need for Speeds where that was before that was a thing, and it was just cool cars. Yeah, the R8's a cool one. It was a concept. Yeah, you did. That's that's exactly right, Artismo. Like, you hated the dude, and he was driving your baby, and you did. Like, you start out that game, and you're you're in the fucking Slayer machine, and you didn't know what was gonna happen when you first played that game. You didn't know you were about to have your shit taken from you. You didn't know your life was about to be ripped from your soul. Like, all right, that was tight. Start again. I'll spam for a little bit to get you guys in here. Be on the button, boys. Melvin, what's up, buddy? Yeah, exactly. It was the grind. It was the quest. It was. It's a. Re it's a really cool car. The M3 GTR is a cool fucking car. And there's not a lot of them. So it's kind of like, and it had straight cut gears, and that was the first time most people had ever heard straight cut gears. Like, there was a lot of things that that was kind of a first. And so when your cherry gets popped 18 different ways, you know, in just a few minutes of playing that game, you're fucking hung up, dude. <laughs> like, 
It'd be like if you got with the hottest chick in school and she came and rocked your world for two minutes, you didn't get your orgasm, and then she left you like a bad habit, and then got with the really crappy guy that was a bully to everybody, and you hate him, you want her back, and that's how it is. Like, it, it would ruin you, psychologically, for a long time. That's what that game did. They did a good job of it. Melvin, I'm doing alright, man. I'm doing alright. My parents took my car at one point uh, while I was still living at home, and I uh, I didn't like that too much, obviously. But then I was like, if I'm if I, if I bought the car and I'm paying for the insurance, and I pay for my own gas. Are you taking the car from me, or are you taking away my ability to drive the car? And they're like, you can't drive your car. I'm like, okay, fine. And then my mom started having to take us to school. She goes, well, you can go to and from school, but that's it. I was like, no, I don't think I want to drive to school while I'm grounded. You can take us to school. You're going to drive your brother to school. I'm like, yeah, I really don't want to. I was an asshole about it. Um, and so then I was only grounded a little while. Uh, they ended up grounding me from the internet in the household. That was a far more impactful thing. So then I was just never home. So that worked for a little while. But then they're like, you need to be home at this time. I'm like, okay. And so I was, but I wouldn't I wouldn't go home after school. Like I'd be home right at my curfew and then get up 15 on server, get in here, get in here. Um So it was it was alright. And then I was 18 and graduated high school. I think I moved out less than two months after I turned 18. And moved in with my buddy and like that was it my parents could not believe it. they're like you're moving out i'm like yeah you can't ground me if i don't live here and then if my dad was just like your mother drove you away i'm like yeah okay i'm like you're right ernie what's up buddy you left at 16 yo uh see jordy when i was growing up there was no such thing as Wi-Fi. It was hardwired or no wired. And it was dial up for a little while during that period of time. 15 again? My sweet summer child. <laughs> but, uh, it's all good. It's what I do with the kids, like. Hey, you guys are got in trouble with your mom or whatever it is. It's like, okay, you don't need to turn on anything that powers up. Like, lights? Okay. Electric toothbrush? I'm in. But if it's a TV, a monitor, a computer, a phone, a tablet, a Game Boy, or a Nintendo, or anything associated with those devices, I don't think you need to use it. And that works pretty well. They can go do anything else they want, but they get to live in the 1990s, not in the 21st century. And so, you know what my kids do? They play Legos, they play board games, they read, they go play outside and shit, and I'm like, low key? Being grounded is not too bad. Uh, Inconspicuous, I am 34. Yes, 34. TVs existed in the 1990s. It's true. If I let it, okay, cool. So you can watch 1990s TV. We didn't have cable. You know what's on TV? Four stations. You know what you're watching? None of them, because it's the news. <laughs> you can watch PBS. Yeah, not nah, PBS. Jastly, what's up, buddy? Uh, Family Guy didn't happen that early, I don't think. I don't think Family Guy came out till 
mid 2000s. Real talk. I think like probably well, if I had to guess, I'm gonna say like 2006. You got me stuck in the like changing the color of my headlight. January 31st, 1999. Crazy. Fair enough. <laughs> it was the decade of edge, you know. Okay, Artismo, you played it a little different than the rest of us. Uh, Alright, let's go play the video game, I guess. Stop spamming, so I, I'm like stuck in this customization window. Okay, I wait. Uh. No, 89. 89. Who's still doing it? Kneel on corn seeds when, for an hour when I misbehaved? That's a pretty good one. You know, my parents uh, really weren't with the corporal punishment thing. But my friend's parents, they lived on a farm. And they had a leather belt that was hung up in the laundry room for one reason. And that was to paddle some ass if we got into shit that we weren't supposed to. And <laughs> we were over there enough that I, it got used on me a couple times. And you know what? I tell you... It worked. Like, that. there was a threshold. It's like, we don't fuck up more than this because the result of this is that. So, we're good. And, yeah, I don't know. I'm with it. A lot of people today are like, you shouldn't spank your kids. I'm like, this is the same kid that calls you by your first name, throws the tablet around, and then gets mad at you and says you need to buy him a new one when he does that. Yeah, maybe you should spank your kids. Don't abuse your children. But... Up to a certain age, grounding doesn't work because psychological effects don't work. Oh, I didn't mean to do party only. <laughs> Nothing quite like the skill issue of being a kid. There's something to that. There are times we get in trouble, but it, it wouldn't even be like you're getting the belt. It'd be like tomorrow. You guys are going to wake up before the sun comes up. You're going to go milk those goats. You're going to take those horses and you're going to run them. And then after you get done doing that, you're going to go feed the cattle by hand, carry the bags out to the field. And it's like that's four bags of feed. They're 50 pounds a piece. I'm sure you three can figure it out. We're like little 70 pound boys. Like, it's like, no way. Can we use the wagon? Well, I wouldn't have said no, but now that you've asked, yes, you, you cannot use the wagon. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> We gotta go. Too wide, damn it.
Hey guys, good news. There's a link up over the playlist, so we can't play it. Oh Christ, that's perfect, bro. I love it. What's up, Si Woo? What's up, Bruce? <laughs> uh. Uh, no, Biker Mice from Mars was nothing that I ever consumed as a child. <laughs> There's only three minutes left in the link of Billy's. Or at least, oh, never mind. That's just of that round. Nice. <laughs> Hooray. Yeah, OG Power Rangers. I grew up on that a lot. I mean, yeah. Big Country with the gifted subs, man. Panda Garage. I'm Brood Blades gets hooked up. Thank you so much, buddy. Miata best class is B. I think a case could be made for the Miata in a lot of the classes. It's not a bad car. It's not great, but it's not bad. Fuck! Ta let me in! Let me in! It was an accident. It was an accident. Fucking. Yo, we really can't. I thought I thought you could teleport in the linkups. We're not in the linkups. In the uh, garage garage. It won't let me teleport out. What in the fuck is happening here? Yeah, because you're in a cop chase, so you can't teleport. Oh, no. <clears throat> Big country with 10 gifted subs. Yo. Dude, my boy, thank you so much. Country, you're a real one, buddy. I really appreciate it. Another five on top of that? What the fuck is happening right now? Big country stole mom's credit card. We're in trouble. I'm about to get an angry email. <laughs> oh, 15 from four, 15 away from 400. I think so. 400 subs. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. That's kind of you. It really is. Yeah, for real. Big W to big country. He's a real one, man. It's uh, there's a few of those guys out there that are really helping me out, and it's it's great. It's why well, I've got the bike that I've got. It's uh, the support like that that's allowing me to keep perpetuating this this path, and I love it. Yeah, the pink blob getting busted is probably the best part of that entire situation, honestly. Oh, here, I, I quit out. Do it again, do it again. <clears throat> Paul, what's up, buddy? Doing alright, man. Playing the video game. Hanging out. Ooh. You did. Big country, you absolutely did. This man got me on the phone and told me like what to do. He's like, I watch this and I do this and you can raise money and you've got a good community. You can do some good. <laughs> Go do it. <laughs> All right, say less. Wait, do I need a speedy car? No, okay, it's good. the track. Is the new channel going to call Road and Track or other adventures? Um, I'm really not sure what I'm going to call the next channel, to be honest. I haven't come up with a good name. I think Road and Track is taken by uh, Road and Track. Something like Pepega Power Sports or something like that. <laughs> like... <laughs> EPS. I'm in the dirt. All right, we're good.
15. 15 on server, we're ready for you. Trey, hooking it up. get you guys the questions here in a second I see the Raptor being talked about the club sport being talked about which is a weird flex but we can talk about it. 15 15 again oh the Lincoln must be over mm hmm they're like hey we're done here let's go find another server with another Lincoln Core nutting, yeah, that'll go good. Uh, F-150 Raptor or the Chevy Colorado? Neither. BMW X6 in A class, it's a Slayer. And best class GTI Club Sport A plus, yeah. Oddly enough, I think it's the only car that uses the rotary engine. Is the Club Sport in A plus? It's not terrible. We do a speedy boy or no? What are we doing? Yeah, sentry, sentry. Okay, okay, you're good. <sighs> Big Country just dropped, uh, I think 20 gifted subs at five bucks a piece. So yeah, he just, he basically just matched Journey. Right? Are we matching? Wait, what are we matching? I think he might be winning right now. For the night. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, th I think Big Country actually started the deal. <laughs> but my phone didn't update yet, Ernie, so if you've, uh, if you sent it, just, just tell me to check my phone and I'll, I'll just check it. I'll, uh, pull up the PayPal. <laughs> Check phone. I. In my heart, it's a fucking Apple picture. <laughs> I was I I was telling my wife about it. I was like, yeah, buddy Ernie, he's gonna sponsor a logo on the bike. She goes, oh, that's cool. I was like, it's the Apple logo. She goes, you hate Apple products. I was like, that's why it's the Apple logo. And I was like, but you know me. She goes, yeah, you're a slut and a sellout. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it like that, make it sound bad. <laughs> 15. What, dude? What the fuck? Do I need to get the Apple logo tattooed on my body, dude? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? Uh, guys, I, I, I don't want to see a single message from any of you guys unless it starts with a W for Ernie. Um... Ernie just did a gifted sub of $500. So, big shout out to Ernie. Big shout out to Big Country. You guys are blessing me crazy tonight. Oh my god. 
What? Thank you so much, bro. Oh, you're you get we're putting your guys' names on the side of the car. Holy shit, dude. What are we doing? W's to dude. <laughs> yeah, Pollock, that's right. Er Ernie stole mom's credit card. Like. Oh man. Fifteen. <laughs> Oh big country, you're my boy. Like, hey, Ernie, Ernie, be my sugar mama. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> For real. Oh, that's. You bless me, dude. You really do. I'm crashing. I can't even focus. <laughs> Apple logo on both sides. Eight by eight. Oh, no. Oh, my God. There's always there's always strings attached, man. <laughs> and your strings are bad customer support and planned adolescence. Oh god damn it, dude. But I'll do it. I'll cry about it, but I'll do it. No 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 listen, listen. We can't just fuck up the color scheme of the bike, bro. Make you that money logo, bro, bro. Country, if you got a logo you want me to put on the bike, we'll do it, man. God, it'll be like the other end of the spectrum. It'll be like real tree, but not a real tree, but like the the fishing and hunting brand, or like my boys out there. It's like I'm gonna end up with Cabela's and Apple on the side of my race bike. Oh fuck. <laughs> Oh god, that's gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> you ever been bow fishing with an iPhone? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh fuck, I love it. That's funny. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> That's wild. That's actually like kind of huge right now, honestly. Because I bought insurance for the bike today, and uh, they didn't really want to give me the same deal that uh, I was getting on my previous motorcycle. <laughs> hey, good night, brother. What do ducks eat with cheese? Quackers. Yeah. Uh. Ernie, you're throwing the gauntlet, bro. Big Country's more of a marathon man. He don't sprint, but he's been consistent for a long time. And I know he blesses me with what he can. About to make my first bike payment a month early right now. Just like tomorrow, just call up, yo. <laughs> We're good to go. You don't have to make a payment till May. So anyway, we'd like to get the ball rolling. I'd like to get a month ahead, so if I forget one month, I'm not behind. I'm still even, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>
I didn't touch you, did I, Supples? Nope. That's good. This dirt was a bad call. Unlucky. Little wide, my boy. Oh, I'm lucky. I'm done here. Uh. Uh, that's for the logo, bro. What you mean by payment? <laughs> Annoying neon orange. Oh, man. No. Uh. I wish my small Miata could perform like this. I'm with that. You running the six or the four? Uh, the six. I think the six is better. Yo. Big Country turned up right now. W's in the chat from our man Big Country. Him and Ernie are going wild right now, dude. So Big Country shows up $200 dono, but a bunch of you got gifted subs from Big Country earlier, so he's he's definitely blessing me as well. Ah, huge blessings. Put your guys' names on the car, man. Thank you guys. Really. For real. That's. That's too nice. We gotta come up with something I can actually do for you guys. <clears throat> for real. I, that's, I talk a lot, but I don't know what to say. You know what I'm saying right now? Like, that's. You guys are too kind, man. I won't squander it. Do we really gotta make the Apple logos fucking orange? Can we do them in silver so they kind of match the theme of the bike that I'm going for right now? Like, can we negotiate on this a little? I'll look up that color right now. I feel like it's gonna be some kind of like puce. What color's puce? Oh, that's puce. <laughs> Pink color. Yeah, it's from Monsters Inc. Where he, he's gotta do the filing or something, and he's got the files, and it's like the, something mastered puce, and you gotta turn in your paperwork. And he's looking for the files, he's like, oh, that's puce. Okay. Sink in years. Dude, it actually holds up pretty well. I watched it with my daughters recently. Um, you know, Pixar has kind of fallen off as of late with some of their stuff, but the old OG Pixar movies, really, really good. Not all of them, but that's good. One. Yeah. Annoying Orange. Uh, let me pull this up here. Let me. What color is this? All right, the color is Final Fantasy <laughs> Tactics. Let's see here. All right, it's uh, number F F A O O O. <clears throat> hmm. you, you understand the bike is green, right? <laughs> this is gonna be terrible. Uh. Harrison, what's up, buddy? Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> Sick. People are gonna be in my YouTube comments like, why do you have an orange apple sticker? I'll be like, because I'm a slut sellout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Fuck. <laughs> I 
case could be made for some pink. <laughs> like, uh, do I know any glitches? Uh, Abe, what do you mean? I mean, there's a glitch shortcut on one track that we, a couple of tracks that we use. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, most of the exploits we that we have found have been patched out. Yeah, a lot of them are. They don't work anymore. Kingpin, don't talk about my pink blob that way. It wasn't a glitch. It was a gift from the president <laughs> of Brazil. <laughs> Buzz, what's up, buddy? You must want me to leave. <laughs> uh, it's like kind of the best meme of the channel right now, actually. It's like half the people are like, dude, tell another one. The other half are like, don't ever speak again. <laughs> There's no middle ground. There's no neutral parties in this. It's either you love it or you're fucking done with the stream. Yeah, you love it or you absolutely despise yeah, it. Yeah, it's like you're in or you are so far out. It's spiteful on the way out the door. <laughs> But I feel like Kim Jong Un was uh, involved in the whole pink blob you know, process. That, been, but I don't know. That's a story I'm just not prepared to tell, you know? Because <laughs> the, the stream will get cut, it'll circulate the internet. I'm not famous yet, but I'll be famous for that tomorrow. MSNBC. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking some st cringe streamer infiltrates North Korea, steals their technology, and creates pink blob <laughs> character. We are now currently at war with North Korea as a country because this motherfucker. <laughs> like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Fifteen on server. Dihon, what's up, dude? Uh, so Ernie, Josh Moore on YouTube is big country up from Twitch. Same, same. Yes. Fuck, dude. Dude, I got a pretty good time on that. I forgot the screenshot. I need to go back and grab that, actually. I think that was a 25. I think that was, I think that was low key pretty fast. Didn't make a lot of mistakes. I need to go back and clip the stream and grab that really quick. Yeah, it just digs through the VOD. If I don't do it now, I won't do it later. I'll forget. <laughs> yeah, we collectively have the memory of a cardboard box. We? <laughs> we. Oh, okay, 126.03. That's not too bad. Pretty good. Mellow Gamer, what's up, buddy? Is that top? Am I top dog right now? Yo. Yo. We out here in the streets. We out here in the streets. Yo, I'm winning copium right now. It doesn't mean it's going to stay, but I'm winning for now. <laughs> winning at the moment. <laughs> hey, man. 
around here, that's considered a success. <laughs> <laughs> Great success. I just want to win my first split. Bro. It's funny how that works, isn't it? It's like... Mm -hmm. it, Either you have to be the absolute fastest Pepega driver, or it's a fucking dice roll. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh god, watch out, I got a two bar. See you never, boys. You never. Okay, Marcus in the R8. The biggest thing, Mello. Oh, you got tacos, dude? Some spicy Ooh. sauce? Dude, I tacos? want some tacos. That sounds good. What kind of tacos? Like street tacos? Fried flour tacos. Oh, that's what I'm making too. Mm, any of those things sound really good. I'll be down. Uh, Mellow, for the YouTube content creation side, you either have to have something that is valuable, like you are bringing a piece of information to the table that is sought after and better presented than someone else or better information than someone else. So that's like the arms race side of information you kind of become your own version of a media outlet based on what content you create. Otherwise, you have to create a piece of content that will move someone emotionally so they will come back or moves them enough while they're watching it, whether it be happy, sad, triggered, whatever, to where they'll click the like button or subscribe. So it's kind of like you have entertainment, education, or emotion. It has to be one of the three E's. If you can get two of the three, you've done a great job. If you can get all three, you have a piece of content that is actually genuine. It's hard to get all three, but that's what I always try to do. It's like, if I make something, piece of content, if I can get two of the three, I'm probably not moving anybody emotionally, but if I can get a chuckle out of them and I can pass on some information, it was entertaining and valuable. Yo, sorry about that, <laughs> out of control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Beef, fajita, corn, tortilla, cilantro, onion, and cheese. Oh! <laughs> they look at me crazy when I go to the Mexican restaurant around here because I, I try to always get them to add cheese to it to the street tacos. They're like, no, 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 no cheese, no cheese, onion, cilantro. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. add cheese, <laughs> no sour cream. <laughs> cheese, cheese, please. Yeah. Uh, the Miata's not so bad. The Beast, do you know what the best A-plus car is with a budget? With a budget is the key phrase that I'm struggling with because I've never had to worry about doing that in this game. Um, to be honest, what you should do is build one of the meta cars that you like off of the video, like the Meta 5 or whatever. Pick one you like just do some playlist racing to get enough money for it like in one play session you should be able to generate enough money to build a car buy and build and so i wouldn't skimp on budget side i would just play the game in some rentals until you get some cash you need play a game get cash build car pvp mode's probably the fastest way to get money toxic cookie yeah, yeah dude uh it's been dude, wild back back um big country opened up with uh, 25 gifted subs uh, to get me to 400 which big shout out to him and then Ernie chased that with a $500 dono which W's to Ernie and then uh, he kind of challenged Big Country and so Big Country threw another 200 on top of that as a just a, a gift to me so like these guys are really supporting you guys by hooking you guys up with some gifted subs and uh, supporting me which keeps me coming back keeps me playing because it, uh, <laughs> I come back and play because I want to spend time with you guys, but the financial aspect of it, like, I can actually, at the end of the month, look back and be like, you know, we'll see how long this keeps up. Maybe one day I'll be like, you know, guys, I got to work tomorrow, but this is work tomorrow. So I'll see you guys on the stream. <laughs> We're not there yet, <laughs> but eventually.
So. Uh, no. So, offline mode for single player has its own money. And then multiplayer has its own money. So yeah, if you're talking about for single player you're needing separate. cash to figure something out, dude, not only can I not help you, but I'm the worst person to ask. I've never beat the single player campaign. I've beat the prologue dozens of times. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> One of my personal favorite A plus cars that it's relatively inexpensive is the Beetle. I think it's fun. Beetle's really good. Ganju, what's up, buddy? Uh, gotta spend money to earn money in this business. Yeah. Oh, you just started the game right on. Well, just know that single player and multiplayer are separate. So, if you're just trying to play the single player, just enjoy it, man. Don't really stress too much about what cars you get, because the AI is not that bad to beat and if you're struggling with it that's a good thing I mean it, it, like you're actually getting some gameplay out of it yep just play a game have a good time I'm thinking about a one point I can't see the hearts in the fucking way. I can't read what you put, Scott. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the heart block in half since. I know. I'm thinking about a 115 for the winner this week. 115? Nah, dog. What about that, Chief? I don't think so. Sub 20 would be wild. I mean, that's fucking cruising. That'd be pretty nuts. This motherfucker. <laughs> Shout out to Ernie, dude. <laughs> he just sent me two pictures of my bike. With an orange Apple logo up on the tank. You're <laughs> like, he's photoshopped in there, dude. <laughs> like, hey, by the way, this is what it's going to look like. It's like, I got it, fam. This is it. That's commitment. <laughs> yeah. But I'll, dude, I deliver. I deliver. You died. Boyd. No, Mello, I, I would, I would not, I disagree. Completely. A lot of people get a lot of value out of the single player. And I would rather play the single player, work through the mechanics, get an idea of how some of the tracks work, drive a few different cars, learn how boost works, like literally get a chance to play the game for 10 hours and then go online. Because then you are not just gonna get beat up the whole time. If you go online with no experience in this game, the chance of you taking a victory or a podium is so much less. And that'll turn you off from wanting to play the game. But if you grind some single player, play through the career, get a chance to experience all the classes and the tiers and understand kind of how the builds and everything work and get a feel for what cards you like and which ones you don't, that'll make your multiplayer experience, I think, a lot better. And so that would be how I would steer somebody. Like if my daughter was like, Dad, I want to get a Need for Speed, I was like, cool, beat the campaign. Come talk to me after that. Yeah. Plus you'll get some free cars in the process. Yeah. Go to store the online. Like Mello, I'm not I didn't practice when I preached. I started streaming the game. I went and like was playing through the prologue. Didn't even get through the prologue. And somebody's like, hey, play online. I was like, well, I'll beat the campaign first. And they're like, no, none of the stuff transfers over. Multiplayer is totally separate. I'm like, it's separate? Oh, well, say less. Okay, so we're doing that then. Okay, boys. And so I just went online and I've never looked back. But that's how I play. Uh, I only play multiplayer game. Like, I don't care about single player in any capacity. But that's the game was new, so we were all learning together. Online and offline like everybody that was 
in the game in those hours, it was fresh for everything. So there, nobody had a leg up on anybody. Coming to the game after it's been out a year and a half almost, you're playing with a different deck of cards. And so I would, I would hate to turn off a new player to what a really good arcade racing game is, which is this, by them just getting slaughtered. Johnny, I'm sorry. Dude, cheat engine. Never look back. It's great. <laughs> it's your boy JoJo. Hey, man. I respect that, dude. I'm glad that the videos are helping you. Um, that's good. And don't get me wrong. Like, it's not for everybody. But that's... Or the single player is not for everybody. But that you, you guys know. If you play the game, you know where I'm coming from. So that's the important thing. But that's usually like, if I'm giving advice or like my opinion on something, um, I try to position it like if you're asking a genuine question, well, what advice would I give to my 13 year old or my 10 year old daughter? Like if they came to me and asked for the same advice, how would I steer them? Everybody's got a different skill set, right? But if I was trying to set them up for like the most success, I would try to put somebody else on that same path. Uh, good time for power this week. Currently is like a 26 flat. It, and that's by me right now. I'm top dog. I, I don't know that it'll stick, but it, it is the current it is the current time. He's the man. Bro. <laughs> the doggy. You are Need for Speed. I wish that was kind of true. There's a lot of people now on YouTube that have got channels and they literally are putting out builds on the channel, which are builds I've had on the channel for eight months. And there's people that get them in their algorithm instead of me. And so they're like, oh, thank you so much. And they're like, yeah, no problem. I'm like, this motherfucker's never even played the video game. <laughs> like, you're killing me here. <laughs> but it's all good. Whooper sticker on the bike? Polar, you broke. We don't have enough money for that. Like, orange apple logo was expensive. Whooper logo? Out of budget. Out of budget. Because I'm not sure what the number is, but it's not reasonable. <laughs> like, it's it's not. <laughs> Le legit fuck that dog. Like, nah, dog. <laughs> like, I go through bikes every couple of years I'm probably gonna have this one a lot longer because it's really nice but I'll I'll have it longer than whooper not probably not Dude, inconspicuous my dad's the protagonist <laughs> Ernie dog I I, I don't mm. I don't want to put this fucking pit bull on my bike. <laughs> my 13 year old daughter would love it. She'd be like, oh, daddy's a whoopie boy on the bike. <laughs> oh, dude. The girls would be like, oh, see, you love him. And my wife would be like, you sold out slut. And I'd be like, no, it is. <laughs> Not worth it, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, Ernie, bro, I. Like, I cringe at the Apple logo, but it's a meme. If I put the dog on the bike, bro, jar, jar full of daughter tears, I go to I go to war over a jar full of, uh, for a single tear on the daughters. That's a different conversation altogether. That's like a light switch that gets like, what's it? Who made you cry? <laughs> How old is he? Cool, I'll go talk to his dad. <laughs> like... We'll handle some shit. <laughs> no, 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 no war with myself. See, it was never on the table, so I don't have to worry about it being taken off the table. It's not like my daughter's like all hype. She's like, "Oh, Dad's gonna put a whooper sticker on his bike." The dude, the uncomfortable conversation I would have to have because it'd be like, my daughter—that's that, her dog. She'd be thrilled, 
And then my youngest daughter would be like, you put Whooper on the bike instead of me? And I'd be like, oh baby, it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, dude. Nah. Nah. Nah, nah dog. Nah, Wooper. Nah, like this. Nah, like nah, this. Nah, like this, bro. One K right now for a Wooper sticker on the bike, twelve by twelve. Country, I'll refund it. 200 ain't enough, dog. <laughs> Big Country's like, check your phone right now. $200. Whooper. Hey, it's like. Hey, hey, look. Money. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. No. This bike is gonna look like such crap it's gonna be so rough dude people are gonna nobody's gonna watch the videos i'll be trying to do a video with the bike here's a walk around let's do some stuff people be like who is this guy <laughs> whose man's is this if not enough <laughs> refund oh my god i'll tell you what josh moore if ernie throws the 1k that he's talking about for a 12 by 12 i'll fucking do it are we comfortable with... Where's the Wooper? Where's the... Oh, well, the Wooper emotes over on YouTube. That's right. <laughs> nope. Refund. You said it. Fair enough. You know what? Fair enough. That's better. That's, that's easier on my soul. That's easier on my soul. That's easier on my soul. I can, I can handle that. That's easy for me to swallow. <laughs> Josh, <laughs> Big Country, I love you, brother, but oh, God, dude, I do not want that fucking bike on the, the dog on the bike. Let me log into PayPal. There we go. What are we doing? Why is it not letting me log in? But uh fuck myself out of my PayPal account here. I'll get it. Oh, I missed the start anyway. Okay. Alright, it's gonna make me do it on the computer. I can't issue a refund from my phone. <laughs> Big country. I tried, guys. Uh, <laughs> Boost Andretti. It was about to be a sticker bomb of whatever the right price was on that given day. It was about to be terrible. And I was going to do it. <laughs> God, but it's like, where do I draw the line? At the dog? I feel like the dog's the right place. I'll kick myself tomorrow morning and be like, dude... It was a thousand dollars for a sticker. It was two hundred dollars for a sticker. Why did I not do that? Just put the sticker on the bike, and just put it all on one side, and so never do filming from that side again. <laughs> <coughs> I'd be picking up my daughter in the morning for school and be like, "Baby, I'm gonna put Whooper on the bike," and she'd be like, "Dad, don't, don't joke with me." 
Look, baby, I am. I got paid twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> and she'd be like, "Give me some of that money. He's my dog." And I'd be like, "No, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no." Alright, cool. Refunded. We're good. We're good. I can... Why are we putting roadblocks in the middle of copium tracks? <laughs> <laughs> no, no film from one side. Uh, nah, nah, nah. nah. I, if I say I'm going to do something, I'll do it. Pink Blob going to go on it? I don't know why we would. I think I'm going to make the license plate Papega, though. P-P-E-G-A. I thought that'd be cool. Yeah, the, the, the uh, plate, uh, I feel like it would a thousand percent be Pepega. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we'll get... I think I can... Maybe... Maybe I can work some orange... Like, pinstriping some other stuff into the bike to kind of pull it together. Maybe I can make it all work. Make it, make it flow a little bit. See how it goes. Dude, orange or green be popping. I think so. Wait, I, I can I can mentally come to terms with that up here. Low key, I think the orange apple logo is more of a meme than the fucking animal. People love their dogs. There'd be a there's a whole community of furries that'd be like, oh, this guy's cool. He's got his dog on the bike. Oh, yeah, we'll support him. I'd be like, if you knew the dog, you'd know not to support me. People see dog, they like dog. Lost it right there. Oh yeah, runs down. Runs down. Dead run. We're dead. Uh <coughs> Scott, no, it's a uh, Ninja 1000 or ZX10 RR, not the single R, the double R. Big, big deal. Um, Elvar, so no, 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 um, no. So the way it went, um, yeah, the Apple logo with Whooper underneath. Yo. Hear me out. We get a high temperature sticker and we put it on the exhaust so it looks like Whooper's barking. And he can breathe <laughs> flames. He can breathe fire. Oh, but that's cool. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I was trying to make it cool, dude. <laughs> Put his ass on the exhaust. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Hmm. 
Marcus, do you not see that we are trying to run times for Copium series this week? And your Papega ass is in the R8, <laughs> like, and crashing into us. God. Uh. What's up, Chiro? Oh yeah, Cornet Crew's on top. We're we're having a great time. So he's farting flames. Damn <laughs> flame going out of his ass. Yeah, that's back to me not getting excited about such a concept. Les, what's up, buddy? Uh, I'm playing with the six, with the roots. I, I'm pretty happy with it. You want the low end torque? You need it. Need torques. Nah, see, Ernie, <laughs> you want to annoy people? <laughs> it wouldn't annoy me because it's troll status, but we get like a Repsol livery, which is Honda, and we do a Repsol Kawasaki, <laughs> or we get GSXR and put it on the side, <laughs> just go get them. Or we piss off every BMW owner, because that's what I was going to buy anyway, and we put better than an S1000RR <laughs> or something crazy. Uh... <laughs> M3 GTR wrap? That'd be a little cute for a time. Again, <sighs> who is doing the roadblocks, dude? Like, we're trying to set times on the server. Who is over there, dude? Who be doing the do? Inconspicuous was. Man. I don't love it. this bro <laughs> uh dude exile what's up bro I hope your moves are doing good man stay blessed out there in GC buddy you have a good night uh hobo shoes thanks for the follow appreciate it um so Ernie texted me he said his idea He's like, just get some big hairy nuts and hang them right from the tail light. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> people oh, got dude. truck nuts. Oh my god. That'd be, that'd be a meme. Like, my, ball, my bike's got bigger balls than yours. Damn, yeah, bike balls. I got bike balls. <laughs> Damn her, my corn nuts, dude! <laughs> There's your corn nuts! Why did we slow down? We needed to hook there. This will give me an idea of what my time is though, as long as I don't mess up too bad. I'm slow now. Twenty-seven. 
Alright. Yeah, balls be flying for real. I'm doing a wheelie and they're just fucking scraping the ground. <laughs> Yo. That'd be so That'd funny. be so lit, dude. That, that in itself, if we got a decent, like, chain on to where they actually could drag the ground if I 12 o'clocked it and held it for a second. That's how you get famous. <laughs> uh, that is how you do it. Dude, that's how you know we're a bunch of dudes up in this bitch. Everybody's like, that would be so hard, dog. Like, let's go. Like, <laughs> yo. Oh, man. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and be like, these were all bad ideas. All of them. <laughs> like, really? every, every single one. <laughs> yeah, like some titanium ones or something that spark. That'd be, that, that would be nuts. <laughs> that would be, that'd be wild. Fuck, dude. Be crazy. <laughs> oh man. So what'd you do last night? Well, so me and the homies, we had a brainstorming session on stream. And so here's what we're gonna do. I'll keep them coming. <laughs> I'll oh, only take 98% of the new channel revenue. We're really pushing it now. <laughs> carbon fiber nuts. Yeah, see, that's the move. Can new you even get nuts. a carbon fiber nut sack? You can probably get a 3D printed one. I bet you that nobody's made a carbon one. Okay, no, no, no. I bet you someone has, but I bet you they're not for sale. Carbon fiber testicles. I need some carbon fiber testes. Because we, we're not looking to add weight, we're looking to add balls, you know what I'm saying, dude? <laughs> yeah, we don't need the weight, we need balls. Cops would be like, where's your tag? would be like, just look at my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> just look at my nuts. You know, in the, in the motorcycle scene, the rule is no face, no case. But in this case, they're going to know the bike. <laughs> Paul, uh, Paul's out here. Wait, pause, pause. Would you rather spend $2,000 on a carbon fiber exhaust or just hit the gym twice a week and get the low carb diet instead? That's why I only got the three-quarter slip-on exhaust and not the full titanium. But you got to get at least the three-quarter because you got to eliminate the cat and get a new pipe to go with it but yeah that's uh that's the methodology no nuts no case <laughs> See, I just wanted to put your guys' names on the bike. You know, just all the supporters, people are hooking it up. Big Country, Ernie, Hakasuka, you know, just like different people that are helping it out, doing stuff. And you guys are like, we're looking for an orange apple logo, your fucking dog, and the nutsack off the back. You down? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it just spirals into this. <laughs> what? <laughs> how did we get here? I, oh, I know how we got here. It's because Profligate was here when we started the stream. He's in bed <laughs> laughing right now, and he's happy about it. He's like... <laughs> this is Master Plan on long. <laughs> Dude! I got ejected to the moon with that one. The moon! That's fake carbon fiber. That's not real carbon, bro. That's plastic weave. And is that a for sale product? Is that on fucking Etsy? I gotta look right now. This is about to fuck up my entire U like eBay algorithm. <laughs> Oh, 
A lot of shift knobs. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, I'm not gonna get the picture. No, I didn't get the picture. I'll have to go back and get it. Uh, am I in your race, buddy? You're talking to me, no. I was just racing with Morn. How would you go back and get it? Uh, NVIDIA replay. And oh, okay. Then I go look back at the video. Uh, 26, uh, right now, Marcus. Is 25. 20, 25's top time right now. <laughs> Dude, I'll have them made. <laughs> Shit. There's so many cool pi parts we can put on the bike. We're talking about making custom fiber. Just custom carbon fiber pieces. And you're like, hell yeah, dude. Let me get that ball sack. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me get them nuts. <laughs> Let me get those nuts. I'll fucking hang them from the license plate, though. Like, whatever. Papega, nutsack. Like, just... <laughs> <laughs> Papega with little nuts hanging out. <laughs> that would be perfect. Uh, Dude. I'll cast my sack and have them duplicate them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this. <laughs> I need to go to bed. It's been a long day. <laughs> RTSMO, that's the spirit! You guys are like, heck yeah, dude! I'm like, fuck! How, dude? How? Oh, God. Time is impossible to get to with the people. <laughs> w stream. Oh, you'll shave before. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I've got these carbon fiber nuts. That's real human hair. For authenticity. <laughs> <laughs> real pubes. Kawasaki's gonna be like, hey, we've never sent a cease and desist, but you need to stop. <laughs> like, you're, you'll be the first. We're not trying to go Ferrari up in this motherfucker, but you, you, you're done, all right? Like, we'll buy it back. <laughs> Anything you want, just stop. <laughs> no more. The dealership will be like, hey, you know that lanyard you've got that's got our name on it that holds your key? Go, just burn that. <laughs> like, like, we're done here. <laughs> that out the window, please. Yeah, that just th throw it away. <laughs> you don't no need more. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the conversation piece right there, JoJo. Are those nuts hanging from your bike? Nah, they're my buddies. <laughs> That's a no-win situation. No, but don't worry. He paid to have them made. And, and you thought it was a good idea to hang him up? Well, he paid me to. He gave me money. <laughs> he gave me money. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Wolf PR?
<laughs> oh no. Uh, what am I doing? We're just racing. Uh, setting a new time for Copium in the S Class Miata on power. Uh, talking about. And I put this in air, not in quotes. Sponsorship opportunities for the memes. <laughs> The worst part is, is financially, it's beneficial. It helped me. <laughs> but wh at what cost? Supple's wheezing, that was me. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. I swear to god, I've become a fucking teapot. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm Everything for the sponsor. <laughs> Nord VPN. <laughs> like all the shit you just searched for this? Sponsored by Nord VPN. <laughs> Brought to you by Nord VPN. Do you ever go searching for carbon fiber nuts to hang from your rear plate? <laughs> With Nord VPN, your mom will never find out. <laughs> I'm just dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Blue Chew. That's the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blue Chew. <laughs> Blue Chew. Does your chain hang low? You need to tighten it up on your bike. Do your balls hang low <laughs> with Blue Chew? <laughs> When you get new tires, do you know how the fuzzies are on the side? With Manscaped, we can clip those off. <laughs> like, <just. laughs> <laughs> I'm about to hit up. Monster energy drinks and like listen the whole bikes yours <laughs> like we can do a lot with this It'll save me from a lot of heartache <laughs> Because otherwise yours, Otherwise this is gonna go south <laughs> <laughs> The bikes yours, but keep the nuts Yeah, it's, it's gonna be We got blue chew Manscaped Nord VPN <laughs> like just now, what about old spice we should get old spice in there <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just about the random shit. Uh, do you see my carbon fiber nuts? Do you see how smooth they are? With manscaped, you too can be smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking smooth, like my dog's brain. There happens to be a picture of him right here on the side of this bike. So fucking smooth. <laughs> Look at this smooth boy. <laughs> Look at this smooth boy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Apple's gonna sue me. They're gonna be like, I don't care what you got paid. And where you bought the sticker, take it down. And I'm like, no, dude. It's an electric bike. It plugs in with the lightning cable. It's important. It's Dead. Apple brand. <laughs> bike use Apple product. <laughs> Steve Jobs is gonna haunt me. <laughs> Steve Jobs will be in your nightmares. 
He's gonna take one look at what I'm doing with this bike and be like, you know, he's troubled enough. <laughs> you know, this makes me question why I even created Apple. <laughs> why did I make this? <laughs> Oh, dude, I didn't Tron at all. I'm just out here in the grass, bouncing, having a great life. Yeah, just hanging out in the field. <laughs> What's up, 69 Hudson? Dead. No, no. 24? Nice, dude. Sick. Oh, Savage? Yeah, dude. I, I like him too, man. I'm glad that you like him. Me too. I would like a new Burnout game. I have fear that they would ruin it, but I would like a new Burnout game. Burnout's a really good franchise. <clears throat> Yeah, I think the flat six is the way to go with this screw supercharger. It's what I've been using. I seem to like it. Feels pretty good. Ooh, I'm a tired boy, man. The crew two dead at this point? Yeah, I, th I think so. The king of S class? Followed me? Alright, dude. You out there, Mr. King of S Class. It's a bold statement, dude. Very bold. It's a pretty bold statement. Okay, Mr. S Class King. Oh, it wasn't Activision Polark, it was Bizarre Creations. They were the devs for it, and they folded. Activision was just the publisher, and Activision didn't own Bizarre Creations. I don't think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the King of S-Class. We got a 1v1, dude. I gotta give you the smoke, see if you're really the King of S-Class. This dude's like, bro, it's in Tekken. I love your builds. I would never challenge you to such a duel. <laughs> Pistols at dawn, motherfucker! <laughs> Fuck! I drifted. I had. We're going. You be going. Yeah, uh, you're right. You're right, Ernie. King of S class, that King of S class that followed me, dude. Type in the chat. Send me a friend request. 
Say Let's like fight! <laughs> Round one. Fight! It's probably the Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Inconspicuous, I just like 1v1s. I like racing people in this game. We like doing the zooms. What a move. Move. Guess he doesn't want the smoke, guys. Guess he doesn't want it. Guess Unlucky. he ain't so much of a king after all. Maybe he's a king. Just a very small kingdom. It, 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 tiny, tiny micro kingdom. King, yeah, yeah kingdom. he has no squires. <laughs> and, and no queen, no queen, no heir. No, no, no queen. None of that. <laughs> he ain't got a card. <laughs> yeah, he got the balls. Ah. Oh. Ain't got the nuts. Ain't got, ain't got the nuts for this, dude. Uh, Savage, we won't see a new Midnight Club. I just read your comments there. Uh, Rockstar is too heavily invested in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, plus Rockstar would probably ruin that whole franchise if they made a new game. <laughs> oh, country far and away. I don't think there's anybody... Uh, that plays racing games like my sub to follower ratio is actually unreasonable I'm not complaining, but it's like the ratio is really really high It is a good thing. It's a great thing. It's awesome. If only all 400 of those people with these subs would actually talk to me. We'd our chat would be popping off. We'd be so powerful. <laughs> I think I'm going to call it there. I get you, buddy. Alrighty. Good night, supples. Good racing, buddy. Your face. So fast. Yeah. <laughs> Catch you later. Oh, I'm tired. It do be late. It's not so much as late, but like I, w my work side of things was kind of crazy today. Not because I was making a lot of money, but because I was dealing with a lot of bullshit. <laughs> Those are the worst days when you've already kind of like set up the moving of everything so like the um, the money portion of it was done a couple days ago and it was you know it was okay monday nothing great nothing crazy but whatever but today is when all the shit hits the fan from that so it's like i feel like i'm working for free it's like god damn it so i was on the phone all day that's why it took me till uh well into after two fuck man those cars are invisible so i got the copium video out it was like way in the afternoon And then the weather finally got nice, so I was like, cool, I'm gonna go break in the motorcycle. And that was like actually straining on the body. Mm. Steak and cheese quesadilla? Dude, I'm about to go hit up a Taco Bell. That sounds delicious. 
You subbed to the channel? Dude, Hudson, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Big country coming in clutch with the sub. Yeah, Scott, you're not a. It's not a bad plan. It, but it's, it's not about turning up the brightness. I've got one of those um, Q O L E D S, and so it's just if it's if it's black or dark, it's just off. There's nothing there. So it's kind of hard to see. Oh, dude, I, uh, I'm super happy with the banner. I love it. Uh, Forever Young did such a smashing job on it, dude. I really don't deserve him as a friend. He's, uh, he's too good. He, sp he spends so much money on the merch. Like, just the shipping cost alone for him to send that stuff out. And it's like, I have to pull teeth to try to send him money. And it's just like... He puts in a lot of work and a lot of time, like the fucking pirate shirt I'm wearing and stuff. He just loves it, man. He's got a good heart. I love that guy. He's a he's a real one. Okay, dude. How did we not die there? Run right through all of it. We wasted that three bar. That's super unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> the Ernie List banner? <laughs> uh. That's why you're gonna rock an Apple logo. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dog. Man. Ernie, I would give you a pass on that statement if you had sent Forever Young a logo. Because we announced it in the Discord. We made it public to people. We, we like literally, I mean, we literally called people out. We're like, hey, we're doing this. Submit your logos. People were like, dude, I don't even have a logo. We're like, we'll help you make one. Let's figure some stuff out. <laughs> so anyway <laughs> and that's why I have an orange apple sticker on my bike because Ernie doesn't get in the discord to associate with us over here <laughs> he, don't, he don't do the discord he don't do the discord Bullark, your words are so kind, but I think back to our conversations we've had just today. It's like an oasis in the desert. Hell yeah, dude, we're gonna hang nuts from the back of my bike, we're gonna put a dog on the side, it's gonna be fire, and we're gonna get a takedown request from both Apple and Kawasaki. Oasis. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Oh, Josh, no, no, don't poke him, don't poke him. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Ernie, 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 my boy. Just, just, even I'm on the banner. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm, de I'm dead. <coughs> Ernie, I respect that statement. I'm cool with that. <laughs> like, sorry, dude, I was too busy working so I could send you dollars. It's a good reason not to be on the banner. <laughs> Dollar bills. That needs to be a short oasis. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, any clips that you guys, if you clip it on Twitch, I can go back and turn it into a YouTube short with like three clicks. So if that's, if you guys ever see something you'd like to see turned into a YouTube short, just go do that. And if you clip it, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it into a YouTube short. It's pretty easy for me to do that. <coughs> <laughs> Back on Twitch, got him. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest, guys. I've only got probably another few minutes in me. So I got I got on late because I was out breaking in the bike, and really like that. I tuckered me out a lot more than I thought it would. Dude, Scott, I'm always trying to innovate and try to make. The content that I bring to you guys as good a quality as I can so you know we we come a long way you know got the widescreen monitor so that way I can broadcast a widescreen stream to you guys and uh, got the banner and the lighting behind me got better studio lighting up front really just tried to get a good atmosphere going I didn't spend a small fortune, but I usually invest almost every dollar that I make from the streams and everything back into things that I can put back into content creation kind of deal. Yeah, I'm probably gonna head on myself. I'm really struggling to stay awake. <laughs> Dude, that whole corner is so fucked up. We can't continue here. <laughs> what are we just wall of vehicles? Paid actors waiting for victims. Uh, gotta put an Apple sticker on the banner? I'll do that. I will. I don't know where I could buy an Apple sticker local. I'm sure I could find a place, a sticker shop or something that's got one. I'll go get a vinyl cut one. That'd be kind of tight. Support our buddy Ernie. Um, yeah, that's where I can put it too. I'll put it in the top right corner above Secure Commander, right next to Hex, between him and Sobastar. That'll work. I think or I could just use it and cover up people that I don't like anymore, and then if they come back, I'll just peel it off and put it somewhere else. And so. The Apple Ernie sticker will always just be like the replacement friend. <laughs> <laughs> always be front and center. Oh, it'll always just be floating around as I get pissed. <laughs> yep. Front and center. Um. <laughs> yeah, we probably maybe put it on the bottom, next to Propagate on the left hand side, perhaps. We'll see. Oh, there's room right there. Right under the T. Yeah, right under the T. That's a good spot for it. It's right in the middle. It'll pop pretty good there. Yeah, that's where we'll put it. It'll be about the right size. It'll fit everywhere. Put it on the wheel. No. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Big country. I thought we were friends. <laughs> uh, oh, the banner wheel. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's a TE-37 Volk Racing Works Rim. Like, we're not... Not the logo. The logo... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, dude. Dude, don't ruin my logo. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> that's the spot. It's not the spot. That's the one. It's not the one. That's the one. 
<laughs> Big country out here. I'm getting banned. <laughs> I, I hit the no no spot. Show me on the banner where you touched it. <laughs> yeah. No no, don't touch me there. This is my no no square. <laughs> oh, you guys are silly. But I think Only that's gonna be it for me for the night. I am gonna go to bed. I gotta get up early, take those kiddos to school. But then mm, tomorrow's their last tired. day of school because they don't go to school on Fridays. So I'll have the rest of the weekend to kind of recharge and stay up late and hang out with you guys a little more. So that'll be tight. Yeah. But I think I think my daughter's trying to come and spend the night tomorrow. So I'm not sure exactly what my stream schedule will be, but we'll figure it out. So, if you guys turn on the stream and I'm playing, like, Fall Guys or Balloons or something, it's because my little one's right here and we're playing together, but we're trying to all hang out. We're not... Man, I haven't played Fall Guys in forever. I love Fall Guys. If you guys like Fall Guys, we can fuck that around. Like, that's fun. Yeah, that shit's fun. I haven't played it in... Uh, my minute. daughter likes it. She's kind of a troll. We were playing one night, and one of the guys from stream, well, like, he, he was standing at the end waving, you know, like you do at the, at the end of the obstacle course, and... He was going to qualify, and he was going to let her go by, and she walks up to him, picks him up, and throws him off the map, and then finishes. It was the most savage shit I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. The dude's in the chat. He's like, you've made an enemy for life, kid. <laughs> we were crying. It was so funny. Wow. Oh, it was so good, dude. She's like, that's, that's what the Corn Nut Crew does. <laughs> and I'm like... Okay, you're right. You know <laughs> that's like, how we do. That's what we do here. Uh, okay, guys, that's gonna be it for the stream. Thank you so much to Ernie for the five hundred dollar donation, for Big Country for the two hundred dollar donation, and also the tons and tons of gifted subs that he continues to hand out. And for the rest of you guys that have subscribed, that like the streams, that watch the streams, like it's a community and. If I stream to nobody, it doesn't work out nearly as well as it is now. So I'm thankful to all you guys for hanging out and being a part of it. Um, run Copium. Get the Mazda. Go set a skill issue time. It's going to be fun. And uh, see you guys tomorrow night. Yeah, fun time.